All right, let's bring in our political panel for a little reaction, not necessarily to the Camp David trip, but the politics of it all. Josh Kimbrell, talk radio host in South Carolina, contributor to Red State, and Dan Kennanen is a vice president and principal at Smoot Two's group here in Washington, was with the Obama campaign in the day. Gentlemen, nice to see you. Uh, Josh, first to you, Washington was, for lack of a better term, sort of aghast at this latest tweet from the president. Are your listeners aghast as well, or are they concerned about other stuff? I think my listeners are aghast that the investigation seems to be kind of going off the rails a little bit. The president says that he's under investigation for obstruction of justice. We don't really know whether he's under investigation for obstruction of justice or not. It could be that he was referring uh, to a Washington Post report. So I, I don't think that the tweeting is helping him any, but uh, I do believe that Robert Mueller's investigation was supposed to find out if there was collusion, and so far there's no evidence of collusion. Now we're talking about obstruction of justice, and I don't know how you obstruct justice when there's no evidence of a crime. Well, first of all, there's, there's lots of times that it's the cover-up, not the crime, that gets everybody in trouble, as we all know here. Sure. But it, it brings up an important point in terms of, does President Trump's most loyal fans, and he has many, we all hear from them on Twitter often, are they concerned about this or not? <laughs> well, I'm not sure if they are or not, but they should be. And, and to the point that Josh made, this investigation, sure, it could be about collusion with Russia, but primarily... It's about whether Russia interfered with our election process. And whether you're a Democrat or Republican or Independent, you should want to know the answers to that. It's possible that Russia tried to mess with our election process without the Trump team or Mr. Trump himself being part of that collusion. That's still a problem we need to find out in this country. What's concerning is that Jeff Sessions, uh, Mike Flynn have lied about their meetings with Russians. Mr. Trump has fired folks who investigated him at every level and now is threatening to fire so far even Rod only, so, so, so far he's only fired one person. Well, Sally Yates, Mike Flynn, uh, he has... Uh, Mike Flynn wasn't investigated. But, but Preet Braha from New York. <laughs> Sally Yates also a carryover from the prior administration who in effect, uh, she committed insubordination. I mean, the situation here is, yeah, I think Republicans and Democrats alike want to know if Russia interfered in the election. And I think there's evidence that they did try and interfere in the election. Yeah. It's a different thing, though, to say they interfered in the election and that Donald Trump helped them to do it. And then when there's no evidence that Donald Trump or the Trump uh, campaign or Trump transition team had any kind of collusion with Russia, now we're talking about obstruction of justice. And Leland, to your point, sometimes the cover-up is the actually worse than the crime. Go back to Watergate. With Watergate, there was at least a third-rate burglary that Nixon helped to cover up. In this case, there's no evidence that a crime existed at all. Well, so I don't know how you say it's obstruction hold, of justice hold on. with no evidence of a crime. Mike Flynn was paid a half million dollars by the Turks to lobby for them, did not disclose it. Oh, we're, wait, we're, wait, 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 I want to make this point, though. He, made, he, he did this, and then while under the transition, stopped an ISIS raid in Turkey because the Turks didn't want him to. If Donald Trump put Mike Flynn in the position of the National Security Advisor knowing that, whether it's obstruction of justice or collusion, it, it needs to be found out and investigated. Hold on. Well, he yeah, fired he, fired he fired Mike Flynn. We're, 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 way far, we're way far away from the politics of it. I, I, get, I get that it's fun in Washington to talk about sort of the machinations of these things and, and $500,000 consulting fees and everything else. Yeah. But I go, I go back to what, jo what I asked you in the beginning. Do your listeners, do South Carolinians who voted for President Trump, do they really care about this? Is, the, is this what they're talking about on your show I and think we coffee. care about it in as much as it slows down the conservative agenda. We want Obamacare repealed and replaced. We want the Senate to pass the repeal of Obamacare. We want to move forward on repealing and rolling back Dodd-Frank. We want to move forward on strengthening the military, on cutting taxes and getting the economy moving again. This is a distraction that, yes, we're concerned about because it's holding back the agenda. And I believe that uh, people in South Carolina, Republicans across the country, are very concerned about how derailed the agenda has become because of this, really, a sideshow. And frankly, and I will say this, I will say this, the president's not helping himself any by tweeting about it and talking about it so much. I believe it's a non-story in the end. I don't think he colluded with Russia. I don't think he obstructed justice. But he needs to just let his defenders defend him and get back to the agenda. Of in, running some the way, in some ways, though, Dan, it is a great thing politically for the Democrats, who, who clearly are not happy with President Trump's conservative agenda that Josh once implemented. And at the same time, you don't really have to fight that hard against the agenda. Democrats on Capitol Hill just are jumping up and down all the time yelling about Russia. Not just Democrats, Rod Rosenstein, Bob Mueller, Republicans are asking these questions. But yes, politically, well, it's, to your point, it's, it's, that's a different to your, situation. To your point, politically, yeah, this is a problem for them. It's a huge problem. It's feeding the flames of incompetence. It's feeding the flames of lack of judgment. It's feeding the flames of administration that is not focused and the, on the Democrats what they show, promise. Are the Democrats uh, blowing wind on those flames or pouring gasoline on them? Democrats don't control the Senate. They don't control the House. 
the, the investigators appointed by Donald Trump are leading this investigation. We, we believe on the Trust Republican word. side, we believe on the Republican side, not only are they putting gas on the flames and fanning the flames, this is an attempt to basically overturn the results of an election, stop the conservative agenda from being implemented, and that's the concern conservatives have. So far, have it's kind of working though, right? We've got to get back on track. All right. Well, we, we know health care is headed to the Senate uh, next week. Talk to Tim Scott about that. And they, they say they're going to be able to. Guy, yeah. yeah, there we go. We're going to try to see if we can't uh, see if anything comes out of that. Uh, gentlemen, appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thanks.